Hey guys, Chris Gerber with Kinetic Creations out of Boscobel, Wisconsin. We are talking about the 1000 CF Moto XL. And uh, boy, I got good news for you here on this one. We are talking about here is your kit, okay? Front harness with our module then. And then these are the lights we're going to go with on this build. This build is for a dealer of ours. Uh, one big amber will go on the side, and this smoked one is going to go right here, um, right below the headlight on both sides. So you're going to get in this kit the front harness, which will control the lights, which will plug into our module. Our module is going to plug into right here. That's right. And then these are going to be for the back lights. So we'll get to those in another install as well. But uh, so we're going to install these and do the front harness. And again, those are going to go right here below the headlights. Um, remove the hood is the easiest. Um, we're going to remove the fuse block, which is just two Phillips screws because our brake connector that this plugs into is right underneath here. So just lift this out. You're going to go down. And then the other plug for you is right here. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, pretty excited about this one. The one thing you're going to want to do is plan on drilling. If you use our smoked lens, it's seven and three quarter to, and I put a dot here. And, of course, in, I use it in dry erase um, just so I can put our hole is going there anyway. But there's three quick rivets right here. That's the tool we use. That's a good one for us. Um, but you're going to get into here, and you're just going to want to feel behind and make sure that your hole, there's one brace here, um, one brace here that you're going to definitely want to make sure is uh, avoided. So I'm going to slide just to the hole, just to the other side of that. Um, we use one of these. It's a three-quarter inch step drill um, to make the hole. Um, all of our... Lights, whether they're big or small, are three-quarter inch. So uh, that's where we're at right now. And uh, I'll get these done. And then I'll show you how it's ran from there as we go. Um, again, your module is going to go into this bracket right here, into this plug. We're going to take the fuse block out, drop it down, plug into the brake connector, and then run our front harness. So there we have it. We're plugged in here. You can see our wire is ran down below. This is their module. So this module, we will get we'll all settled into place when it's time. Um, we'll have to get the steering, of course, ran through the uh, lever. We'll come through here and plug into that. Um, but our front harness is right here. So uh, that's where we're going to be with that. So it's uh, so far so good. And the fuse block is right there, but we're going to run that down. And it's going to come out right down here because the plug we need is right up there. And uh, I'll get to that here in a second as well. But make sure you drop those three rivets and get it down here to where you need it. So pretty simple so far. And uh, if I say that, it is because I am definitely not mechanically inclined. So I'm a salesperson by trade. And uh, learning out how to do these has been uh, very interesting for me. So we'll be back. So guys, we're going to take that fuse panel off. The connector for it is right below it. So you're going to want to connect that. Fish around a little bit. It's yep, you got you to gotta kind of work around and look for it. So it's right there and you'll know because it'll match up with our plugs as well so both of those get plugged in right there stuffed back down and then you reinstall the fuse blocks make sure you don't lose those little screws they end up way down sometimes in no man land wouldn't be the first time Jacob or I ever did that so that part's done there. Um, like I said, the, the lights are now here. 
So we're plugged in up here and a little flat blade screwdriver works good to take that out. That is just a dummy plug. It's kind of a cover. That's all it is that you're pulling out. So you're gonna pull that out and then plug our harness into it. And again, now ours is plugged into the brake controller down below. I'm gonna run the front harness here. Um, we can get rid of that into our junk pile. All right, guys, so the best way to get to run your harness, which is sitting right here, is to take these two 10 millimeter heads out and you can get down and you're gonna to wanna to feed them both. There's a hole on each side right there which then will bring you right to our lights here. So you're gonna hook up those, and uh, those are hooked up, and you're gonna do the same to the other side. Now remember, ours come labeled, it says CF Moto 1000, and here is the front left. It's gonna say that, and the other one's gonna be front right, and you're gonna run them as you're sitting in the vehicle. And so there you go, it goes down that hole, And then it comes right out here. So we're gonna put the uh, plastic harnesses, the clips back in, and uh, we're pretty done up front. That's uh, what it takes right there. And uh, we'll get these put back together and we'll go to the back. All right, guys, so yeah, we've got it all zip tied in now. There it is there, running that way. We're gonna have a horn harness as well. It'll plug down below, but uh, we'll turn on the key here. We wanna always make that a final effort up front. So as you can see, we have a problem. So it was on, I put it in. So now I will figure out what's going on there and we'll be back. All right, guys. So yeah, it was just unplugged and back. But there you go is what it looks like from the front. Again, six LED lights there. The square, the round on the corner. And there. So again, you're gonna take the fuse panel off, run our harness, you're gonna plug into the two plugs right down here and you'll see because they'll match our plugs as well. Our module will come in here. We plug into our front harness here. All we're gonna have in back, and it shouldn't say all, it'll, we have to get there, but you're gonna have these two things for the back. So we'll show you that next, and then we'll do the lever on the column and then we'll feed that through um, the harness as well, and it'll be done. So we'll uh, we'll get back here shortly. All right, guys. So we're now we're going to take the side panel off, and as you're going to see, we're going to be up here to take that Phillips off. There's a 10 mil that we have to take out here. That bolt comes out of there, and uh, we'll just slowly keep working on it here. Again, always set your stuff aside there. And then you'll see, you'll see this wire here and you're gonna match them. So the orange one on this side matches the orange one on ours. So you're gonna to wanna to match them. So you got the orange here, and you've got the orange in here. So we're gonna connect those. And again, it's just easier with a little, I forgot my little screwdriver, but it's always just easier if you can get up here and pry it loose. Hi, yeah, this is what it is, but it's easy. So we're uh, we're up here now, and uh, basically it was just those Phillipses that you saw, and then that one 10 millimeter to get to this plug. You're gonna 
unplug that, unplug the butt connector, and uh, you don't have to take the whole panel off, it's just that back corner. And if you have a little screwdriver, it's always handy. And uh, old deck cushions are working great around the shop too. Um, so we're right here, it'd be easier wearing a GoPro on my head. Um, but that's where we're at. I'll get that connected and then I'll show you. So yeah, here we are now. And as you can see, here's that. And then the wire you're gonna wanna match, guys, is right up here in this bundle. You're gonna wanna get that out of your way. And as you can see, it's a blue wire right there. So you're gonna wanna take the one with the blue harness, with the blue wire in it, not the orange. The orange will go to the other side. So you're gonna want the blue here to go into the blue butt connector up here. So that's where we're at, and we'll get that done, and then we'll go to the other side. But that's what you're gonna to wanna to do. Take the, match these. This will go into this plug, plug into here, and then plug into the butt connector, okay, for the back. Okay guys, so we're, uh going to go back at it here on this side now or on the driver's side and again we're going to take the small Phillips sound that's under the box here take that one out and then there's a 10 mil here too that we have to take out right here Okay. And then one Phillips set will be uh, right on the box side. We'll pop that out. That's all the farther we should need to get to it. Tucked up in here. We're going to want to get that down. I got my small screwdriver again, but uh, you get that out and you're going to just plug ours in. And there's another connection up here then that you're going to make. That clicks in. Then you're going to look for your butt connector up here. And this is the orange one which is the orange one we have. So you're just gonna put that butt connector together up in here, and that's gonna be it. So that'll be the plug and play. If you wanna look down here, be the same connections then that you had before. Um, as we did, you plug in, plug in, and uh, that's where we're at. We're in the back, we'll get that all sealed up and uh, we'll be good to go again thanks for watching it's a 23 xl cf moto 1000 so appreciate you watching and uh, it's it's a good install so thank you well guys there we have it the the signal the uh, running lights are on so we know we've got that part correct and uh, verified with Jacob as well. So again, if if I'm doing these installs, you uh, definitely have no problem there. But uh, want to make sure you locate those right. Again, the the lamps are three quarter inch holes to put in either one. Doesn't matter. They're all of ours are three quarter, so that makes it simple. We're on the corners there. Again, our harness is zip tied down here. And then you're going to put your two pieces in the back by just removing the panels. Again, it's one Phillips there, 10 millimeter. Pull it out far enough to drop everything. One butt connector. Unplug and then plug into both. So, CF Moto 1000 2023 XL. 
um, turn signal installation. So our next step now, we'll move on to the lever that'll go on the column that uh, we have designed a mount for. So looks pretty sharp. I like the camo. Um, you can get CF Moto had all of our had our dealers that carry us for us. Um, Prairie to Sheen in Prairie Motorsports. And then you've got Jay's Power Center in Reedsburg and Sint Moto Sales in Dubuque. Um, you can get our kits at. So that's uh, where they're available as well. And uh, very good install, very easy install. This is why Jacob uh, does what he does, takes them apart. And he designs uh, what I would consider, after knowing him for as many years as I have, the best signal kit on the market. So we appreciate it. This instructional video will help it make it a whole lot easier for you. And if you have any questions when you're doing your installs, contact us either via Facebook or kineticcreations.com. And uh, we'll help gladly talk to you over the phone or um, walk you through any issues you have. But that's where we're at. Now we're going to install our lever. It comes with a bolt to replace the factory one and another bolt for the top. We use factory holes to do this. You'll need two ton, 10 millimeter wrenches to take off the pinch bolt on the bottom. that one anymore. Our shoulder bolt goes through our bracket. And Jacob, not only are these are local, but you're also having these powder coated locally, correct too? Brackets aren't local. No, the powder coating no. Yeah, Did the we? powder coating is local. Yep. So we try to do that. So we put, put our pinch bolt back in. And then with a 3 16 Allen wrench, you want to fish this bolt up through the bottom, through our bracket, and tighten the nut down. Then you will tighten the bolt. And our bracket's on. You can still tilt up and down, and the bracket fits like a car. And the cable will stuff in the dash and we'll follow the factory harness in there and plug it in down below to the switches. Or the connector for the switches. Yep, and we'll do that in a second. Connect our lever to the vehicle. Easiest way is pop this guy out. Let's pull on it. It's got these fantastic white clips. Sometimes they stay in the machine, but I'm Five for five today, and having them all stay on the box. So the horn switch the connector will be next to the ignition switch. They plug them into the back of the switch links. So that one is right here. It's got a baby bluish, light greenish kind of weird color wire. And your turn signal switch will be up in this one. So you want to unplug it from the back side. You can always pop them out too if you want. Well, that back in. The turn signal switch has dark blue and gray, and orange and gray wire. So our connector has blue gray, orange gray wire that plugs into that. And for the horn, since CF Moto doesn't have a standard for everything. We need to put the connector on. 
So we'll match the light blue wire up with their light blue wire. Insert it in there, it only goes in one way. We'll put our cavity plug in the back. Put our lock in the front. That only goes in one way as well. Lock it in place. You can plug it into there. Make sure it latches. So we have our cable from the lever, plug it in, Straight. That snaps in. I'll put this back in. This doesn't need to come out. That's popped it out for a Before you put this cover on the left side, when you're accessing your turn signals, we'll get to the horn. Our kit comes with a little cable that adapts to the factory harness and a horn. So here's the connector. You gotta pry up on this little tab. This is one of the hardest connectors to deep or unplug. So here's the horn connector. It can be a pain to unplug. Took a screwdriver up in there, pry the clip up. Pop the little guy out. And our harness simply plugs into that. And connect to the horn. Polarity doesn't matter on our horns. I usually mount it to the back of this radiator fan bolt. So I'll mount this to the back of the radiator fan bolt. So you have a 10 millimeter socket or wrench or ratchet wrench or whatever your preferred method is. Position it so it's not touching the frame or anything, I'll get a nasty vibration. This cover has actually come off quite easily. I'll go back on. There's four of these pop rivets down there. Here. Make sure your tabs aren't caught underneath something. On the CF Moro U Force 1000, we have our turn signals installed. Our only glitch is the DRL module. So, right now, when you turn on the blinkers, it cancels that light, which is fine. So, on the CF Moro U Force 1000, we have the blinkers all wired up. The only possible issue we have is the DRL module. The DRL module sees the blinker signal, so it shuts off. Like a car does when you have your blinkers on. But the way we have it wired for easy installation cancels the brakes. Also, when you hit the brakes, the indicators come on. Now, what we can do to get the DRL module to quit acting up like that is down here. This connector, which actually is the same connector that we plug into up front, we can trim this orange wire and this blue wire. So 
was the orange one. That's my wrist. There's an the orange wire there. There's a light blue wire. If we trim those, the daytime running lights never cancel. The only thing we'll have still going on will be this, which is fine because they work normally with the blinkers. They just come on with the brake lights. That comes from the trade off of making it easy to install without having to run a harness to each taillight all the way up to the front and everything. Now they do have this connector on it, which is also on the U Force 600 and the Z Force 950 trail. And it's got wires running from here back to the trailer lights that are separate from the taillights. The only difference is for some reason they put it back here, and I have no idea why they would do that when on the other ones it's actually under the hood or on the firewall so we can plug into that and control the taillights independently of the front lights. Um, good old CF Moto with doing things different one model to another. So for this machine since there's no ambers in the headlights like there are on the U4600, the C4600 and all the Z forces uh, this is just how this kit works for now. So it's up to you if you want to cut the wires to your DRL module, it doesn't hurt it. Um, this thing sees high beams, low beams, RPM for some reason, and it controls that circuit. It's even with it just unplugged. The DRLs stay on now. Instead of this canceling while your blinkers are on. Now we have this light license plate bracket that we came up with. It's got a very bright four LED license plate light. Nice thick powder coated aluminum bracket. Um, we can put the connector on for the CF Moto. And this one is tucked up here. You simply plug it in. This will be loom, this is just a sample. For mounting this license plate bracket, best bet would be to get some clamps that would clamp to this bumper on this machine and sit right about here. That way, the plug-in reaches, you can see the license plate and it's still lit. And when you open the box, that's about the only spot you could put it where it's not going to come down. Oops, wrong way. It's the only spot where you can put it where it's not going to come down and get ripped off by the tire, your frame, the trailer hitch, or anything of the sort. So that's just another option we have. Right there.